the Albert Project is trying to improve the existence of those who suffer from dementia and other ailments. It really came out of an interest to try to do something better and something different for individuals who experience moderate to severe dementia. It's really using a technology that is available, but applying it as a therapy. People want different approaches to managing some of the behavioral symptoms associated with dementia. Often we've relied on medication, restraining people, putting them in a certain area like a locked unit. Clinicians as well as families and individuals with dementia want something that uh, doesn't have as many negative potential outcomes. The one word I use to describe the project would be opportunity. Opportunity wide open for dementia patients, never had an opportunity like that before to offer to them. We have a machine which creates virtual reality experience in a room and the staff select the content from an app on their phones or on their mobile devices. They had the farm on the, the walls and one of the cows was practically coming into the room and she was there laughing and pointing and obviously watching and aware of, of the scene. We found uh, in our pilot that some residents were calmer, some residents actually started to verbalize that hadn't verbalized recently. Other residents started gaining weight, which is a good thing. Many times individuals that have dementia, as it progresses, they actually lose weight, and so to gain weight is a positive thing. It is a lot of fun to just bring them into the room and see them how they were before the virtual reality. Sometimes you, you can barely get a word out of the resident and all of a sudden they're like talking and pointing and laughing. It's, it's, it's actually really cool to see. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> she used to be agitated and you'd come in and, and she'd be much more, uh, have you seen my mom? What, what, what's happened? There's been an accident. I haven't heard those comments about accidents, I don't think, for months now. If you can make people laugh, they feel better. And the more you can keep people in their zone, the less likelihood you're going to need to use drugs and other means in order to calm them down. If you can do it from within themselves, it is, better. It is a better way of approaching it. It's given her an opportunity to kind of experienced things again. She was engaging in the video. She's watching that little girl climb the tree and she was giggling. And, and that's what she used to do as a kid. Wow. And so that, at some level, there must be some sort of recognition that that's what I did. I sat there and I, just, I couldn't, I was kind of laughing myself at her reaction. To, to touching the walls as the videos was up on the wall and she's touching the walls and, and I'm like she's processing that she, she's it's there the 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 thing that I tell people about what's happening now is that when Bev and I got married I said we'd always take care of each other the best way I could take care of her is have her in here but if I know that the, the care that she's getting here, makes her happy, that makes the experience for me easier. I think it'd be good if, if there was an actual library of virtual reality films that could be used with the elderly. It certainly triggers a response in mum when she sees things that are relevant to her, are relevant to her time zone as she is now in her period of dementia. To have those, those, those abilities on a regular basis, that would, that would be incredible. To know that she's getting that, oh. Yeah. To watch it happen, she can relive those memories. Dementia is a course that will not reverse or improve, but it's given people hope, and hope just for a better experience. And I think families go home feeling more comfortable and feeling more confidence that they've left their loved one in a home that's able to provide that for their loved one.